Hey, welcome back to the most innovative shipping container channel on YouTube. And we get asked by customers all the time, can you paint a container? Um, you know, it's a kind of a discussion online as well. And it's kind of an interesting question because, yeah, you can paint a shipping container. And if you do it right, they turn out great. But if you buy a used container for, let's say, 2500 bucks, and you spend five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars paying a company to paint it, you're pretty much to the price of a, of a new container. Um, so we do them as cheap as we can. Um, you could slap some paint on them at home. Uh, used containers look okay when you paint them. Uh, new containers paint really well. Um, so if you're not happy with the color of a new container, then it would make sense to paint it. Um, if you do it at home, you can roll it or spray it. So I'll turn around and talk about this one a little bit and why we painted it. But in certain situations, painting a container makes sense generally. Economically speaking, it doesn't make sense to pay someone to paint it because by the time you've painted a used container, it just doesn't look that great because of the dents and you might as well buy a new one because you're getting so close to the price of a new. So let's uh, turn around and take a look at this one and uh, talk about why we painted it and what we did to paint it. Okay, long story short, this particular company has to have this color. It's a uh, Signal White RAL 9003. You can walk into Sherwin Williams with paint codes or samples of what you're going to paint and they will match it. Most of these paint code, container paint codes, I usually do find at Sherwin Williams and it matches. To get the sheen correct is pretty tricky. It's because it's not quite an eggshell, it's not quite a satin, and the sheen is going to diminish with time. So you're trying to match what's there, how old is the container, you're trying to predict some things with the sheen of the paint, and so on. So in this case, this customer has to have white white containers you can find them and these are all just in general terms so don't destroy me in the comments white containers generally are hard to find most of the time you can find them but this customer wanted quite a few of them couldn't find all that they wanted so they said go ahead and paint and for them it was a bonus to get rid of the decals on the side like that um, so i'll start off with the decals um, do not wire wheel the decals off you you gouge the container and you leave a gluey residue. So get the container in the sun, get a heat gun and peel the stickers and the residue and adhesive will come with it. So in this case, this customer had to have white, couldn't find that many around the US right now. So we went ahead and painted these and these are sprayed. You can roll them and they turn out okay, but we sprayed these. So the critical thing to do when you paint a container is mask your seals and your handles off. I absolutely hate it. And yes, we do have some grease to clean up on the inside of this. Um, I absolutely hate it when people paint the handles and the seals. It looks like complete trash. So you can see here, we masked everything off. Honestly, you can't even really tell we painted this thing, minus the decals are missing. And you've got to paint in the jams. You've got to paint all your hinges. So after you spray the outside, you've got to come in and, and roll. Um, some of the jam door jams and hinges and things like that. All in all, you're probably two gallons of paint. It's pretty much a satin sheen and labor probably about with peeling decals. Now one more thing you could do is paint over the decals, but again, that's like paint and handles. It's just terrible quality. It looks like trash. All in all, probably six to seven hours total labor. Um, depending on how fast you are. And you can see here, we masked off the, even the sealant on the tag. So this looks pretty much like factory. And like I said, this is an RAL 9003. Signal white, customer had to have it very hard to find. So in this case, paint made sense. But if you buy, if you want to paint a container, probably best just to buy a brand new container and paint it the color you want. Um, so in some cases, it does make some sense, but painting used containers, unless you're going to do it yourself, really doesn't make sense on our end. So thanks for watching. Uh, drop comments if you got any questions. And thanks for watching.